Hey, good morning. Today I'm thinking about the Oscars, the artists, and the real world. <laughs> um, in the real world, we've got to air up our tires before we ride. So, gonna get on that. Uh, see you on the ride in just a few minutes. Cool. Hey, good morning, lovely people of the planet. This is Jeff O. This is the Morning Ride Pedal Powered Podcast. If you don't know, I'm just a dude on a bicycle talking about how I'm trying to evolve as a filmmaker, as a writer, poet, and as a human being. Thank you so much for being here on this beautiful cold morning with me. Now the view is a little different. We're not actually riding behind me <laughs> in some meta fashion, but that is my backpack up in front of us. I know. Now, I've got my camera bag with me because uh, we've got research computing days going on at uh, the day job, which is a super cool event. If you're into super fast computing, crunching down data, big data sets, that's what these days are all about. So, I'm gonna go take some photos. Hopefully get some video of some of the student work. They're doing a poster session, which is kind of like short little discussions about, hey, this is the research or the work that I'm working on and the solutions that I'm finding using the tools provided by the university, which I think is kind of cool. I think it's an exciting area because there's so many great visual representations of what we do. Ooh, baby. Hey, good morning on your left. Oh, it is a chilly one today, folks. How's your ride? How was your weekend? Yeah, what do you think of the award ceremony? Oh yeah? I was shocked too that the farewell one, but I haven't seen it yet. Oh yeah, I'm talking about the Film Independent Spirit Awards, of course. <laughs> I know, that's rude, isn't it? So same time of year as the Academy Awards, the Oscars, the independent film community also gets together to celebrate independent films. Those are films that are made with smaller budgets by smaller studios generally. Anyway, they celebrate independent film. The Farewell one, it looks like a great film by Lulu Wang. I am really excited to see it. It's got Aquafina in it. Evidently she plays Chinese American student who goes back to China to see her family, to see her grandmother who is dying. And the family has decided not to tell the grandmother that she's dying. And that's as much as I know about it. Aquafina was the, uh, <laughs> the crazy, I mean that's in a good way, but the crazy fun sidekick to the bride in uh, Crazy Rich Asians, Crazy Rich Asians, which is a super fun film. Amazingly well done. I really enjoyed it. Anyway, congratulations Lulu Wang on your win at the Film Independent Spirit Awards. I really appreciated what you were saying about uh, getting women out in Hollywood specifically. So when I say Hollywood, we're talking about film business. We're talking about the industry. We're not talking anymore about the art and craft of making films. We're talking about the business side of how entertainment is made in the United States. So she was reminding folks that women have been making films since, well, cameras, <laughs> and uh, that more and more we are seeing the fiscal results of a film made by a woman can make money just like a film made by a dude, a guy, a man. 
so she was just urging people to remember that in your hiring practices, we always like to hire our friends and the people that we know that we can work with. But uh, sometimes, isn't it more exciting to take a risk and go with someone you don't necessarily know, but someone like Lulu Wang, who has an amazing reputation at this point. Now, she also had a film out a few years ago called Posthumous. Uh, oh man, Brett Marling, I believe, was in it. It's about an artist who they believe dies. And so the value of his artwork spikes and then it turns up that he's not dead. For those of you sentimental, romantic art film lovers, I highly recommend it, posthumous. It's a little indie drama, it's a fun film. But what I'm curious about today is the different approaches that everyone took to their acceptance speeches at the Film Independent Spirit Awards, which were hilariously hosted by uh, Aubrey Plaza. God, she is hilarious. <laughs> um, she did a great job. I really dig her. Comedian, actress, and now singer. <laughs> Didn't know it, but uh, yeah, she did a cool little bit. Check it out. Film Independent, Spirit Awards, Aubrey Plaza monologue, a lot of fun. So then later on in the day, folks got together for something called the Academy Awards, presented by the, what is it? The Academy of Motion Picture Arts. I think I've got that all mixed up. All those words in some order. Uh, no wall ride today, guys. I'm trying to keep from breaking so many axles. When the bike's loaded down, I think that is a contributing factor. Riding the wall, shearing off axles. Whew. I'm a little out of breath. It feels really cold. It got dry here. You know, it rained forever, it seemed. Then it got dry. And it's just a different kind of cold. So for those of you who are thinking of bike commuting somewhere cold, if it is really dry, if it's not gonna be raining, windproof is your friend. And that's really all, all I worry about. I'm back to wearing this, uh, it's a cotton jacket, but it has windproof panels in the front. It's by Chrome Industries. I don't know that they make this particular model anymore, but the back is all cotton, which obviously isn't super clever because that's like hypothermic inducing So it goes, folks, you gotta figure out what works for you. But basically, your aerobic activity keeps you warm. The, the panels keep the wind off of you. And I'm feeling pretty toasty well, and with a backpack too. I'm just like a little bicycle rider sandwich here. <laughs> All right, so to the Oscars. We talked about the Oscars a few weeks ago, a few episodes ago. By the way, we're going to a Tuesday-Friday schedule. The executive producer decided this. <laughs> Folks, we don't have an executive producer. It's all me. Well, an M out in California, she gives me a lot of great direction. She's got her own little YouTube channel going on, Tasty Eats. If you're curious about where to get a nice little snack in the uh, Davis, California area, check out the Tasty Eats blog on YouTube. It's a lot of fun. m and &E, keep it up, folks. It's good to see that y'all are back. But your computer's working. Whew. Boy, that 10 pounds of pressure in the tires makes such a difference. I feel like I can ride again. We were talking about this with E&M once. She's got those fancy clincher tires. And the idea is that you can run those at a lower pressure on a mountain bike here. 
We're not going to get off on that, folks. We'll talk about tire pressure another time. Anyway, on a bike that I ride mostly on the road. Hey, good morning. I'm going to be running around 50 PSI because I find that that still gives a little bit of flex. Not enough for like super high bunny hops or anything. <laughs> but just keeps the ride from being too rigid. And, uh, and then it also has a nice rolling resistance or lack of rolling resistance. Once you get down to like 40, the tires get squishier and it's harder to pedal. More traction though. So in the wet, probably not a bad idea. Hey, it's your ride. You can do what you want. <laughs> anyway, I was fascinated about the Oscars this year. I loved the Korean representation. Best screenplay, best picture. Oh, for crying out loud, I knew I'd forget the other two. Bong Joon-ho. Man, congratulations. I saw Parasite. Oh, it is so good. It is so good. It's one of those tricky films for me too. Ooh, sunshine all of a sudden. Look at that. I love that. It feels so good. Because I think it is making some commentary on things. And uh, I'm not sure exactly what all the commentary is necessarily, but it's definitely making a commentary on people who live one way and people who live another. And then, uh, hey, good morning, guys. So uh, anyway, I recommend it. It's dark <laughs> and don't get me wrong, then it gets darker. <laughs> I think I talked about that. <clears throat> I loved his acceptance speech. And I loved the acceptance speeches of his team members as they were accepting their awards and basically how proud they were to get to represent their country in another country. In fact, this is the first time a best picture award has been given to a foreign film. What do you think of that? I thought that was rad. Now, I might have chosen different films in different areas, but I gotta say, my, the, biggest, the biggest surprise and delight was Laura Dern winning supporting actress in her role in Marriage Story. Holy cow, really, really good. Noah Baumbach, who wrote Marriage Story, won Best Original Screenplay at uh, Film Independent Spirit Awards. So he got, some, he got some recognition in the indie world for his work there, which was cool. I was a little surprised that Tarantino didn't get more uh, accolades for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood than he did. But this is what gets me to the crux of today, is that Brad Pitt won Best Supporting Actor in his role in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And, uh, you know, in the film, he's an aging stuntman. But in real life, he's Brad Pitt. And we know that name because we've seen him on screen a lot. A lot of eyeballs have said, we like watching this dude in films. And so a lot of people know who he is, which gives him a certain kind of social clout that we call celebrity. <laughs> I thought it was interesting his comments about his, uh, they were veiled, but obvious, obviously veiled. Is that even, uh, is that some sort of a British cone maybe? Cohen, cone. About politics and that Tarantino should make a film where the adults actually do the right thing, <laughs> which I thought was kind of fun. But when is it cool for an artist to do that? And uh, do artists already do that? Like in their, in their work as an artist, and I'm talking about someone who applies craft and technique in a way that uplifts the consciousness of the planet maybe. 
more than more than just making entertainment. And I don't want to say just entertainment because just entertainment is really good for us. You have to have the tension and relaxation of drama in order to appreciate life. <laughs> if it was all monochromatic, monotone, I don't know it'd be so cool. Although I've heard that cat's eyes can only see monochromatic. That's what allows them to see things in such precision. Hey. So maybe there's something cool about that. Maybe that's why black and white films are cool. But I was thinking about that and then I was thinking about uh, Joaquin Phoenix using his Best Actor Award, which I really, that was the only one that I had like really strong opinions about. I have not seen all of the films, but Joaquin Phoenix, what he brought to Joker was, was really amazing. That film really affected me uh, in a deep, deep way. I think it's a call to all of us who have at times, and maybe continuously feel smaller than, less than, feel that society has no use of us. I feel like Joker really gets at that. Anyway, I was glad to see him. But then he used, he leveraged his celebrity, which this is my question. To, and, you know, everyone's talking about how he went on and on about cows and all that. And sometimes we need that visual representation in order to have a picture of maybe what our impact as humans are. But I guess my question really is, what do you think of celebrities using their personal lives that is outside of the art that they bring. Or uh, in the case of like Colin Kaepernick, outside of his celebrity as an athlete, professional athlete, when they step outside of that role, which has already inspired us, like their ability as a human to be superhuman has already inspired us. And so is that enough? And then when they go and uh, leverage any celebrity that they have, what does that mean? Is that cool? Because that's a different context because now it is Kaepernick the human, it's Brad Pitt the human, it's Joaquin Phoenix the human. Laura Dern had the sweetest acceptance speech. I really dig her. She must be the greatest human being ever. Well, one of the greatest ever. <laughs> That guy was funny. He'd been listening to the blog for a while. I don't think he's gonna, I don't think he's gonna subscribe. <laughs> hey folks, if you love riding a bicycle, get on a bicycle. Whatever your bicycle is, I'm just asking questions here, things that I'm wondering about. I appreciate you so much for being on the ride and wondering about these things with me. Wanna wonder out loud? I'm at, uh, at J-E-F-F-O-F-F-E-J out on Twitter and Instagram. Would love to have a conversation with you about any of these things. You can hit me up at any of my too many email addresses. That's acceptable and wanted. Hit me up sometime if you want to ride with me. We'll talk about stuff. I would enjoy that very much. Folks, hope you enjoy your ride today. It is the only one we get.